Hello, hello, hello. We're going to start in two minutes. Vamos a esperar que vengan más para comenzar. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, Alexis. Good evening, Carmen. Let's wait for two more hello. people. Okay. Esperemos por un par de personas más para comenzar. Teacher. Sí. Eh, le quería consultar. Fíjese que estoy va a atravesar la la compu y no le no 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 encuentro cómo tomarle captura a la pantalla. Usualmente tienen una tecla que dice ahí imprimir. Fíjense que ya la busqué y la estoy presionando, pero no. Sí, entonces ahí dependería de cada teclado. F4, F4 sale. Sí, ahí sí, no, no sé. Voy a, a seguir. Par, sí, a la par de la tecla eh, eliminar, delete, aparece. ¿Se teclado wow. está en inglés o en español? En inglés. Ok, entonces su tecla tiene que decir PRTSC. Así tiene que decir encima. ¿Qué? ¿RT? P. P de payaso. P. 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 R. T. S. C. Sí. Ah, se la se llamaba. Ya presioné todas las teclas y no le dije. Vaya, está bien. Thank you. You're welcome. Ya se la tenía ventana en la pared, tenía, pero. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I think we should start. We have more people. We have six people. So we're going to start here, okay? One moment. Okay, yesterday we were working with a topic that uh, most of you caught very quick, right? You practice that uh, a specific topic very, very quick. So I would, like to, uh, I would like you to tell me right now, what do you remember from that specific topic? The topic was imperatives or commands, right? So what do you remember about commands? Tell me one thing, one thing, Angie. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, um, can you repeat, please, teacher? Yes. Tell me one thing that you remember about commands. Um, <clears throat> for example, lo de... for example, for example, for example, for example, uh, um, which of the, the sentences in the imperi imperative form? Okay, in the imperative form. Okay, give me one example of those sentences, Angie. Um, example, uh, 
very soon well uh plan the class for next week sorry organize a meeting organize a meeting um ask for um review the videos to pay no 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 angie you're getting confused remember commands are instructions that we give okay for example one command it can be it can be open your notebook Ese es un command. Open your notebook. Deme un ejemplo de, de un command, Angie. Angie. Está en mute, Angie. No la escuchamos. Okay. Um, write and check. Write the check. Very a good. Check. Uh -huh. Ahí. Send a memo. Send a memo. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Write a check. Send a memo. Excellent. Excellent job. Andy. Those are two examples of imperatives. Very well. Now, uh, Carmen, tell me another thing that you remember about imperatives. One thing. Um, imperative are equal that orders or instruction or guidelines or imperative sentence. It's it's equal to to an a command. So the, when you say a command, a command, uh, you you don't need subject. For example, is a. Uh, some, sometimes can be uh, one word only. For example, stop. And, okay. and, and one, thing, comment, one thing, ah, one no, thing, one thing. Let me. Let, uh. <laughs> <laughs> one thing, Carmen, one thing. <laughs> Let's see here. Emerson, what's another thing that you can remember? Aparte de las que dijo Carmen. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher. What is one thing you remember about imperatives? Estamos recordándonos de la clase de ayer. We are remembering yesterday's class. Um, stand up. Stand up. Okay. What is that? ¿Qué es eso? Stand up. Eh, ya se me olvidó, la verdad. Solo me recuerdo de la palabra. Ajá. ¿Qué vimos ayer, Emerson? Dígame sus hermosas palabras. Mm, para ser sincero, no recuerdo mucho. Uh. Emerson Javier. Hola. No se preocupe. Alexis le va a ayudar. Alexis, what, Hi, teacher. what do you remember about imperatives? Yes, teacher. Uh, in exclamation. One thing. Uh, exclamation, full stop. Uh, instruction. Super. No. Dígame una cosa en una oración, una oración simple. Dígame, ¿qué aprendió de, de los imperativos? ¿O qué son los imperativos? Ah, los imperativos son... Eh, Emerson, check your notebook. No le comprendo la, 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 la cuestión. Se le acaba de decir en español, Alex. Eh, 
Tell me in Very one good. sentence, what do you remember about yesterday's class? Mm -hmm. About imperatives. Dígame una cosa que se recuerda acerca de los imperatives. Please check. Que antes, no sé cómo, no sé cómo explicar que antes de, al inicio va el verb. Verb. Eh, después va el complemento. Okay, very good. At the beginning, we write the verb and then the complement. First, the verb and then the, the complement. And then the company. Complement. The complement, company. Complement. <laughs> Maria, what do you remember? Good evening. Good evening. Imperatives. It was what? Frequencies and adverbs. In imperatives. Sí los podemos usar, pero no los usamos ayer. Sobre, que era sobre, por ejemplo, el sol. Yesterday. experiencia más significativa o bonita a lo largo de su vida. Okay, okay. No, 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 Yesterday we talk about imperatives. Todos me dijeron que habían entendido los imperatives y o los commands. Y ahora me están diciendo que no entendieron nada. Entonces repetimos la clase de ella. No. Yesterday you told me, yes, teacher, we understand. Y ahora me dice, no, no entiendo de qué me está hablando. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó de un día para otro? And let's try. Pero se viera donde mencionaba el sujeto tácito, ¿verdad? ¿Qué pasó la experiencia? ¿Cuál experiencia, María? Uh -huh. Sorry, teacher, mi hermana está dando una consulta. Ok, no, apaga el micrófono. Ok, le voy a apagar el micrófono. Azalia, ¿qué did you say? Azalia no tiene micrófono. Ok, guys, we need to be very careful. Recordémonos, si no entendemos algo, aunque, aunque nos parezca un poco tedioso practicarlo, es mejor practicarlo, aunque no, aunque no lo entendamos, ¿ok? Aunque no lo entendamos, pero no podemos decir que lo entendimos y después no lo entendimos, ¿ok? So, let's try to remember. Yesterday, we talked about imperatives. Carmen was saying, imperatives are those instructions or orders that we give to other people, right? For example, if I am your boss, right? if I am your boss, I am going to tell you, write a memo. That is an imperative, okay? That is an imperative. The function of an imperative is to give orders, okay? En, en inglés antiguo, en que antes hubieran eh, tantas leyes y cosas de violencia, era para dar órdenes. Los imperativos se utilizan para dar órdenes. Imperatives are used to give orders. Okay? You can use imperatives for your kids, for example. Los que tienen hijos e hijas. You can, give, you can use imperatives for your kids. Go to sleep. Vaya a dormir, go to sleep. 
right? Eat your food, eat your vegetables, right? Those are imperative, those are orders that you're going to give to another person, right? Celia, give me an example of an imperative. Send the sales report. Send the sales report, sales, repeat. Send the sales report? No, sales. No. Send, send, send the sales report. The sales report. Very good. For example, este bien, este bien sencillo, bien sencillo. Le voy a enseñar. El verbo vender se escribe sales. Le, eh, la palabra ventas se escribe sales. Se escribe sales. Pero la pronunciación va a ser la misma para ambos. Sales and sales. I don't have any sales this week. I haven't, I haven't sold anything. You have to sell something this week. La pronunciación, it's the same, okay? Now, can you repeat your uh, imperative, Celia? Repito la misma. Yes. Send the sales report. Very good, very good. Ana Gabriela, tell me one imperative you wrote yesterday. Um, check the sales. Check the sales. Okay, check the sales. Emerson, tell me one imperative you wrote yesterday. Check the report. Check the report. Emerson, tell me what is the function of imperatives? Cuando lo va a utilizar? When are you going to use imperatives? Eh, para una orden. To y... give an order. Uh... Yes, to give an order. That's the function. Para dar una orden. Okay, cuando sean jefes tienen que aprender a dar orden, right? And you're going to give an order, you're going to give an order in English, right? Now, very good, Emerson. Tell me another example, Pedrina. You are on mute. You are on mute. Sí, vaya, check out email. Check emails. Okay. Repeat. Check at email. No. Check emails. Check emails. Check emails. Check emails. Okay, very good. Now we're going to continue here with the class. Right. We are in video conference number ocho. How to use have to and need to. Okay. Have to and need to. That's what we're going to use today. Now, for this today, yesterday we were working with this paragraph, right? We were working with the paragraph about Mr. John Wilson, and we were identifying sentences that were true or false, right? True or false. The first sentence, uh, Angie told us, no teacher, that sentence is incorrect, right? and we change the sentence. What about the other sentences? Did you change the sentences? ¿Las cambiaron las oraciones? Yes. Yes, very good. Let me check right now. Mona, I'm going to share my book on the screen. Okay. Now I have some sentences here. Let me share. Let, let me share my my book. Right. Number two. He writes reports every day. Is that true or false, Alexis? Uh, incorrect. 
It's incorrect. Okay, what is the correct yes. form? He checked email. He checks emails? Yes. Okay, he checks emails for the company. He checks email. Emails. Email. Oh. Email. Oh. Emails for the company. Email. For the company. Email. Very good. Number three, please, hey, Carmen, read, read a statement and tell me if it's incorrect or not. Number three, he never answered the phone and talked to customer. It's false. It's false, okay, why? Yes. Tell me the correct form. Uh, he always answered the phone and talked to potential employees. Very good. He always answers the phone and talk to potential employees. Excellent job, Carmen. Let's see here. Uh, Ana Gabriela, number four. He often attends Meetings in the morning. Is that correct or incorrect? True or false? Um, true. It is true. Is everyone is everyone in agreement with Anna? Is that true? He often attends meetings in the morning. Yes. Yes? No. No? No. no? Okay. What okay. is the correct form? I don't Let's... know, teacher. He generally yes. attend meetings in the morning. He generally attend meetings in the morning. Look at here, Anita. He generally attend meetings in the morning. Right? Generally. Okay. Let's go with number five, Luis Armando. Okay, teacher. Uh, if, if never after the meeting is the afternoon. Okay, is that true or false? It, it's false. It's false. What's the answer? Uh, What's the answer, Luis? Si es falso, de mera respuesta correcta. Okay, si es negativo, de mera respuesta correcta. Hola. If it's negative, tell me the correct answer. ¿Cuál okay. sería la forma correcta? Sería me parece un poco todavía. Claro, no, teacher. Claramente no. Siento que me equivoco un poco. Ok, look at the sentence here in the paragraph, eh, Luis Armando. Look at the paragraph, ok? I want you to read the paragraph. Necesito que lea el paragraph, ok? Everyone, let's read the paragraph together. It says, okay. we, we have to attend, a, it says, generally, I attend meetings in the morning and not so often in the afternoon. Ahí está la respuesta. It says here, he never attends meetings in the afternoon. Usted me acaba de decir que esta oración no concuerda con lo que está aquí arriba. ¿Por qué? ¿Cuál es la respuesta correcta? Sería... Who wants to help Luis? 
comodín del público, Luis. Vamos a alguien que le ayude. She often in the afternoon. Okay. It says he never attends meetings in the afternoon. Doesn't attend meetings so often in the afternoon. Okay, but he does. Okay, very good, Alexis. Good. Now Thank let's you. continue with number six, Angie. Um, usually has Evan in his company. Um, in my company, we all always always have Evans. Okay, very good. Pero ahora haga la oración para él. Usted me ha transcrito de ahí arriba para abajo. Ahora escríbala así como está acá. Y... He, en la ceiba, he's, he always have events. He always has, has events. Has, has events. Has events. 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 Very good, very good. Asalia, let's do number seven. Oh, no, Asalia is busy. Let's go ahead and see. Pedrina. Pedrina. He has to go to a conference on July 22nd. Sí, es, pero me, tengo un poco de dudas ahí, teacher. Pero me, eh, para mí está mala la oración ahí. Hay que arreglarla. Uh -huh. Entonces... Okay. It is correct. It's not good. La oración no pega con lo que dice arriba. No, ahorita, sí, no pega. Sería. It says here we have to attend a meeting about the conference on July 22nd. Y en la 7 dice, he has to go to a conference on July 26th. Mm -hmm. sí. ¿A dónde tiene que ir? Where does he have to go? Where is he going to go on July 22nd? Sería we, we have. No, he, he. He, he, es verdad. Estamos hablando de John. Sí, 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 tiene razón, tiene razón. Y es que esa no, esa, esa tuve dudas. He, permítame. He. Let's see, we have a comment right here. Hi, teacher, be careful. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. No, teacher, es, es así, la, no, no le hallo. Okay, who wants to help me out here? Let's see. Abidail, what's the answer? Mm -hmm. Abidail? Jennifer Abidail López Escoto. Michelle. What's up? Una, una question. No me, no me pida la, la respuesta ahorita. Ah, no, no, no. Aparte. Uh -huh. esta, esta parte donde dice tú, yo y tú, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Which one? La parte donde está tú, tú, tú. Do, go, do, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? En la, en la, en la seven. Es que aquí... He has. He to has go. to go. To go. He has yes. to go to a conference. Yes. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. To. To go. 
Jennifer, we're waiting. Hi, teacher. <laughs> ¿Cuál sería? Number seven, Jennifer. <laughs> es que está bien. <laughs> what do you have in number seven? Okay. Pedrina already told us that the answer is incorrect. Okay. Sí. Corrija, por favor, Aguilar. Díganos de su tarea, de lo que hizo. ¿Cuál es la respuesta correcta? No. <risa> es que está, está bien rara, teacher. No, no, no se le entiende a eso. Sí, sí, the, uh, the statement said he has to go to a conference on July 22nd. It's false. Exactly. Uh, the, correct, the correct answer is he has to go to a conference on July 21st. He has to go to a conference on July 21st. Let me see. He has to go to a conference on July 21st. Very good. Very I good. Only, only have a question in the number five. Could you repeat the answer? He not so often attends. Oh, he doesn't attend meetings so often. Okay, he doesn't. He doesn't attend meetings so often. Okay, he has to go to a conference on July 21st. Oh. See, we have to read, guys. We have to read. Tenemos que leer y no vamos un, un tip. Ahorita que somos beginners y quiero que me escuchen bien. Aún hay personas en su sus cámaras de qué galán. ¿Eh? Solo hay una persona que no la puede encender ahorita por motivos de fuerza mayor. Now, let me, let me tell you. Somos beginners y aún personas avanzadas que ya llevan una carrera estudiando inglés. No van a entender todas las palabras de cuando están leyendo inglés, no van a entender todo. Vamos a aprender a entender el contexto de lo que estamos leyendo. Hay palabras que nos ayudan a entender el significado de aquellas palabras que son así uh, bien difíciles. Que usted dice, mm, ¿y esto qué significa? Hay palabritas que están alrededor de esa palabra que nos van a ayudar a entender el contexto. ¿Ok? Así que no tratemos que vamos a entender todo, todo, el 100% de lo que vamos a, a, a practicar, porque es mentira, no lo vamos a entender. ¿Ok? Hay aún personas que hacen sus exámenes para irse a los Estados Unidos, a universidades en Estados Unidos, y no entienden el 100% de las lecturas. Así que por eso no se preocupen. Vamos a tratar de agarrar el significado, la generalidad de lo que estamos practicando. ¿Ok? Now, let's continue. Let's continue. Y vamos a hacer ese reading mañana otra vez para que se recuerden. Okay. Now, let's practice here with this. These are, this is a practice that we're going to make with need. Need is a word that we use to express urgency. Like it is something that is very, very important to do or something that you really need to do. Right? It's necessary. So look at the conversation. It says, Mark and Brie. I really need that memo, Brie. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson. Please. It's very important right away. So look at the words here that we are going to practice. We are going to practice here. The word need, need, and need to, need and need to, okay? Need and need to. With need is, for example, I need food to live. Necesito comida para sobrevivir, right? I need food. Oh, I need water. I need a computer for my class. It's something important, right? Es algo importante, es una necesidad. 
that we are going to use need to we are going to use need to right when it's something with an urgency it's very very important right it's something very very important for example i need to plan my classes every monday i need to es una necesidad debo hacer eso right i need to I need to go to the doctor tomorrow. Right? I need to check the sales report every Friday. I need to check the sales report. Right? Es una necesidad. Si no lo hago, no me pago. Right? I need to check the payroll for the employees on March 30th. Si no, no le pagan a nadie. Right? Now, need to, it's something very important. And it's a necessity, right? Necessity. Right? That's what we're going to just need to. And I am going to show you here more information about that. Give me one moment. We we'll continue here. Let's practice here with something. It's here. Uh, the first paragraph. Please pay attention with the first part. It says, we use need, let me put it bigger. We use need or don't need plus two plus infinitive to say that something is necessary or unnecessary. You can use this form for habitual, general, and a specific necessity. We have two examples. Please read example number one, Gabriela. Do you usually? Gabriela. Ana Gabriela Córdoba. Daniela Mirkel, can you please read the first example? Do you usually? ¿Está alguien conectado a la clase este día? Yes, teacher. Yes, 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 teacher. Teacher. yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Carmen, can you please read the first example? Yes, of course. Uh, you usually need to check in a at least two hours before a flight leaves. Thank you so I, much. I continue, continue. I don't, I, don't, I don't need to take a raincoat. It's going, it's going to be a hot day. It's going to be hot today. Good Very day. good. Look at the first example. In example number one, it says, you usually need to check in at least two hours before a flight leaves. When you go to the airport, Right? and you're going to fly to another country, you need to check in at least two hours first. And for example, today, if you say, I don't need to take a raincoat, it's going to be hot today. Todo dijeron eso en la mañana, no voy a llevarme una sombrilla, porque no va a llover y llovió. I don't need to take a raincoat, it's going to be hot today. Right. In the first one, we express necessity. And in the second one, something that is not necessary, right? Look at the structure. We have need plus two plus the verb. And in the negative, we have don't plus need plus two plus the verb, right? Now, we also have another form que les quiero mostrar, pero esta es muy posible que eh, la vean, pero nosotros no la vamos a utilizar acá. Right, it's this one. It's this one right here. Eh, María Concepción, can you please read this paragraph? When 
we want to say that something is uh, unnecessary on a, speed, a specific occasion we can also use need, need plus infinitive with, is, without is, without two okay very good very good now look at this pretty much what it's telling us right now in the information is that we are going to have need to loss of her is going to be affirmative form right need to plus the verb if we have don't need to plus the verb equals negative but also we have a shorter form that we're going to use here right and we're going to put here the information with needing plus infinitive without two, right? So look at this, look at this. We have needing plus the verb, okay? Needing plus the verb is also negative. O sea que para el negativo tenemos dos formas que podemos usar. Nosotros acá, para efectos de la clase, vamos a usar sobre todo, right? The form that we have here. Esta vamos a utilizar nosotros. Don't, doesn't, need to, plus the verb, plus equals negative. This one está correcta también, pero casi no la vamos a utilizar nosotros. Is that the clear? Second, the second way for negative form is without two. Only, is, need, only in the right need them, como need not. Need them. Exactly, exactly. That is totally right. It's need plus the verb only. So we can have examples here. We can say here, uh, I need to go to the supermarket. I don't, I don't have food in my fridge. I need to go to the supermarket. I don't have food in my fridge. Okay. Need to play soccer. I need to play soccer, okay. Pero tiene que expresar una necesidad. ¿Cuál es la necesidad que yo estoy expresando acá? I need to go to the supermarket. ¿Por qué? I don't have food in my fridge. Entonces, la necesidad es que tengo que ir al supermercado porque ya no tengo comida. Ok. I need to buy masks because on Monday we start classes. Imaginas, right? Or we can say, I don't need to buy a new cell phone. My cell phone works properly. Look at this. Here, it's not necessary. I don't need to buy a new cell phone. My cell phone works properly. Right? No necesito comprar uno, se me funciona bien. Right? And then we have this one is going to say, it's going to be the same. Okay? It's going to be exactly the same. Right? I needn't. I needn't buy a cell phone. My cell phone works properly. Okay. So we have examples of need to, don't, don't or doesn't need to, and needn't plus the verb. Is this part clear right now? ¿Se entiende la función o el momento en el que vamos a utilizar need to? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. 
teacher. So, yes. Y en la, en la primera, ni, ese es ni tú, ¿verdad? Hay ni tú. Yes. Podemos ponerle we ni tú. Yes. No, no, no va a importar el, el, la persona, por decirlo así, nosotros, ellos. No. Uh, thank you. Good question. Very good. Now, we can say, you need to, we need to, she needs to, right? She needs to go, he needs to go. So you, you only need to change the verb to the third person, right? To the first third person singular. Now, do you have more questions about this? Questions? El, teacher, el verbo también no va, no va a sufrir ningún cambio, ¿verdad? En esto. No. Va, va a ser el verbo normal. En este, es que eso no funciona como un verbo, es un infinitivo. Ah, Pero okay. vamos a hacer aquí, el verbo que, está, que va a cambiar va a ser need. Por ejemplo, si tenemos, she needs to go to the supermarket. She doesn't have any food in her fridge. She needs to go. The uh, verb okay. is in an in infinitive form. The verb is in infinitive. To go. To buy. Buy. Pero el verbo que sí va a tener un cambio es need. Fíjense acá. Doesn't need. She doesn't need to buy a new cell phone. Her cell phone works properly. Cambia porque es negativo, ¿verdad? Sí, porque estoy utilizando she. With doesn't. She doesn't. Eh, cuestión de estas, eh, vaya, en la primera dice, I knew, I knew to go to the supermarket. Y siempre después del punto tiene que ir la respuesta o solo se puede dejar hasta el punto. Esa no es respuesta. Yo les quiero dar contexto para que entiendan eh, como la función de need to. Ah, ok. Pero no Entonces, es respuesta. No, no, o sea, siempre tendría que ir ese complemento. o Podría ir solo hasta el punto, supermarket, hasta ahí. Sí, puede como, para darse, como para darte, darse a entender, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Thank you. You're welcome. Sí, ese es solamente contexto, es información extra. Y la información extra la podemos quitar. Usted está en lo correcto. ¿Ok? Hay ni otra question. Great questions today, Alexis. Very good. What about the others? Thank you. ¿Se entiende el uso de Nietzsche? Teacher. Yes. Aquí no va a haber eh, en pregunta, en forma de pregunta. Mm, we can make questions, but right now, estas, ahorita estas. Ah, yes, yes. Sí, ahorita vamos a hacer masters en estas formas. Sí. ¿Cómo lo hacen? Las preguntas luego. Ok. Okay, it seems like nobody has a question anymore. So what are we going to do right now? Following this example, right? Following these three examples, we are going to make our own examples. Individually, please take a screenshot of this work. Take a screenshot. Teacher. Yes? Uh, one question. Uh, yes, Emerson? But in the case of the negatives, por ejemplo, según lo que me percato, el ejemplo es el mismo, ¿verdad? Yes. Entonces, en el primero utiliza, I don't need to buy, pero en el segundo solo utiliza, I needn't buy. I need ¿Qué, buy sucede, ¿Qué sucede con el to que está antes de del verbo? Lo eliminamos. Lo eliminamos. Desaparece totalmente, no lo necesitamos. Entonces lo eliminamos totalmente y lo quitamos, porque es otra opción eh, para escribir el negativo. O sea que solamente haciendo como el construction del need to, yo puedo eliminar lo que sería eh, como el complemento para el verbo en todo caso. Uh -huh. Exacto. Okay. Exacto. La forma need, don't need to estaría en needn't. Needn't. Ahí, ahí está todo contractado. Very good, Emerson. You're welcome. 
Any other questions? I see Angie, you, you. Sure. O sea que son dos formas de, de negativo. La, yes. I don't need to buy a new cell phone. I need, I need, ¿cómo se pronunciaría? Need I it. need to, I need on, I need on buy a cell phone. Listen. O sea que ambas Listen. son, ambas. Need it. Need it. Ambas son, re, son correctas. Yes. Y las dos significan lo mismo. Por eso les puse el mismo ejemplo para que vean que significa lo mismo. Tienen el mismo okay. significado. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Angie. Thank you for your question, Angie. Another one. Okay. Let's make our own examples then. Did you take did you take a screenshot of this? ¿Ya tomaron captura de lo que vamos a trabajar? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, okay. Let's teacher. go ahead and we are going to make our own examples right now, individually. One affirmative, one negative, and another negative using data. Need okay? Now let's just start right now. You're going to have five minutes. Let me call the attendance. Se me fue la attendance. Vamos a ver. En lo que ustedes trabajan ahí, yo trabajo con la asistencia. Uy, what's this? Ask me questions if you have questions. Si todavía tienen preguntas, hagan las preguntas, no se preocupen. Pero es mejor hacerlas ya. Ana Gabriela Córdoba de Samayoa. Present. Ángela de Jesús Santa María Juárez. Azalea Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present. Carmen Lizette Hernández Escobar. Present. Thank you. Cilia Jazmín Castro de Chévez. Present. Daniela Miquel Sandoval Avilés. Present. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. José Alfonso Palma. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Leida Susana Sorto. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. María Concepción. Thank you. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Present. Pedrina Ileana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Presente. Ricardo Gabriel Varenga Ventura. Roxana Yanira Mejíbal Escobar. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Jennifer Avidaí López Scott. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, did you finish with your examples right now? If you finish one example, please put it on the yes. chat. Yes. Put it in the chat. Teacher. Put it in the chat so everyone can see it. No me lo envíen solo a mí, envíenlo a todos. Send it, send it, send it.
Did you finish? Let me see. I will read one by one your examples. Okay. And I will make comments, okay? I need to be in the English class. Carmen, I need to be in the English class. Ahorita le vamos a hacer corrección, okay? In the, in the, in English. the English class. English, capital letter. Okay. okay. I need to be in the English class. We need to go to the gym. To the gym. We need to go to the gym. Okay. Alexis, we need to go to the gym. I need to go to the work. Okay. I need to go to work. Uh, Maria, I need to go to work. You don't need to go to a hospital, Alexis. You don't need to go to a hospital. I need to vacation. Now, uh, Sandrita, the verb. I need to go to vacation. I need to take vacations. De verdad, ahorita que no vamos a ir para la escuela. I need to take my vacations, right? Carmen, I don't need to eat Mexican food. No, you don't need to. Don't eat it. I don't need to eat Mexican food. It's horrible. Okay. Mexican, capital letter. Mexican. Porque es una nacionalidad. Todas las nacionalidades, todas, 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 chicos, van con letra mayúscula. I need to go, I need to go to a bank. Alexis, I need to go to a bank. Haga los cambios. I need to go to a bank. María, you don't need to go dancing. Good, good, María. Emerson, I need to go to the library. I don't. I don't have paper in my office. Okay, I need to go to the library. Pero en la library, no va a encontrar paper, eh, Emerson. Va a encontrar paper in the bookstore. In the bookstore. Porque en la librería solo encontrar libros. Solo libros le van a vender como el internacional. Y usted va y solo libros encuentra. Right? Pero si va a... A la bookstore, es como, I don't know, bookstores, names of bookstores. La moderna, for example, in San Salvador, you, you can buy paper in there. I need to close the door. Perfect job. I need to close the door. I do not a doctor. I do not need to go to a doctor, Pedrina. I do ah, okay. not need to go to a doctor. Okay. Se olvidó del need to. Sí, sí. He doesn't Señora. need to. Eh, Sandra, está olvidando el verbo. Después de need to, tiene que tener un verbo. He doesn't need to money. He doesn't need to spend money. I need to go to work early. Vean los ejemplos todos para que vean de qué estoy hablando. Por favor, vean el chat. I need to go to work early. Very good, Amilcar. That's excellent. I need to go to work early. I need my car to go to my work. Ahí, eh, Luis Armando está utilizando need, pero no como need to de una necesidad. Okay? I need to drive my car to go to work, por ejemplo. I need to drive my car to go to work. Eh, Alexis, no, esa oración no está bien. He need a vitamin, no. Recuerden si estamos utilizando need to. Celia, I don't need to buy a new car. My car works properly. Excellent, Celia, excellent. New car. He needs to drink vitamins. He needs to drink vitamins. Ana Gabriela, I need to go to the gas station. I don't need to buy a new car. 
I need them by a computer. Very good, Anna. Very good. Excellent job. Abidail, I didn't see your examples. I need to see your examples, Abidail. Angela, I didn't see your examples. Where are your examples? Ricardo Gabriel, I didn't see your examples. Okay. I don't need to speak in. Yes, you need to speak English, Angela. I don't need to speak English. I don't need to drive my car. Very good. Uh, I don't need to speak English. Hey, Angie, you can say I need to speak English too. Okay. I need to speak. I need to speak French. I need to learn how to speak French. That's another uh, example. Okay. 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 Okay.
teacher, sorry, yo escuché cortado. ¿Se entiende qué vamos a hacer con ese correo electrónico? Um, Organizar las... Asumiré, las asumiré su silencio total como un sí entiendo y lo vamos a, lo vamos a ir a trabajar en el No, teacher. Ok, Sandrita, very good. Now, first, we are going to read the email. Ok, primero leemos el correo electrónico. First, we we'll read the email. Second, vamos a hacer lo que dijo Alexis y lo que dijo Carmen. Vamos a poner las actividades que Guadalupe debe hacer. She needs to do some activities during the week. We are going to put them in order. Las vamos a poner en orden, pero no en el orden que aparece, sino que en orden de importancia. Right? Exactly. What is more important for her to do? What is really, really a necessity for her, right? She needs to do what first? She needs to write emails. She needs to go write the letter for the customers. What does she have to do, right? Tiene muchas cosas que hacer ella. Las vamos a organizar, okay? Vamos a organizarlas por orden de prioridad. Prioridad, así se dice en español, prioridad, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. First, we are going to do it individually. Vamos a hacerlo individual. A ver cómo nos organizamos cada quien. We're going to have two minutes. Three minutes. A las nueve y diez. A las nueve y diez nos vamos a ir en equipos a compartir las prioridades. No a copiar las prioridades de nuestro compañero. A compartirlo. ¿Ok? Ahora sí, eh, Sandrita. Sí. Ok. Thank you, Sandrita, for your question. Thank you. Let's start. We're working individually right now. One minute. have a question but... yes Sandra can you see it ahí está Sandra
Okay, let's go to the breakout rooms right now. Let's go and share. We're going to have in the rooms, we're going to have We're gonna have five minutes, okay? You are going to share only the information that you have, right? Let me see. Let's go right now, please, so we can start working. Five minutes. Angela, select the group, please. Jennifer, select your group. de acuerdo a la necesidad, ¿verdad? Sí. Luego, el de donde empieza el segundo párrafo, que dice que tiene clientes, de los clientes y eso, un montón, ¿verdad? <ríe> Lo puse como uno porque sería la prioridad, ¿verdad? Sí. Y luego, luego sería el tercero, lo tomé desde donde dice de donde dice, it is very important to take two last and sales report. Los reportes, ¿verdad? Ya se lo, sí. lo tomé como en un tercer lugar. Repeat. Y lo, ajá. Y, y lo último, Ricardo. Sí. Es que tomé el párrafo final. Para mí eso lo era la visita, cuando ya tenía todo controlado, ¿verdad? Según yo, ¿verdad? Y iba a visitar los, los sectores que, que supongo había analizado con los otros clientes. Ah, ok. Lo dejé de último, ya cuando tengo todo controlado. Sí, eso haría yo. Ok. And what do you have, Ricardo? Or oh, you're still driving? Mamá. Yes, I'm, yes, I'm driving. Acabo okay, de ir a okay. mi casa. Vale, entonces lo voy a, voy a poner a Pedrina para que comparta ella con el otro grupo. Ok, y usted escucha a otro grupo también, ok? Vale, de acuerdo, está bien. Let's go with number one. Ahí le dice Ricardo y Pedrina la voy a enviar con otro grupo también, ok? okay. Room number two. Let's go. And the two late, two less late, latest sales report. The second is really contact. It it really need to contact the three potential customer. And the three is called the new client. And the fourth visit to stores. We yes. we only have the different in the first the, in the first and the second. In the yes. first and the second. Yeah. Okay, yeah. very good. The key of the penetra key is going to be is going to be based on how you organize your life. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Carmen. Yeah. I think everyone has shared. Right. Let's go right now to the group. Let's go to the group.
Good evening, Asalia. Good night. Okay. Now, now we are going to share right, right now. Uh, Asalia. Está ocupada. Yes. Um, Oh, uh, we return to the big group. Chicas, um, vamos a, a comparar nuestro, <laughs> nuestras prioridades. Carmen y Silvia, ¿verdad? Hasta sí, bien. yo en la primera uh, tengo... Chicas, ya estamos en el grupo con todos. Hello, hello, oh. hello. Ah, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Okay. Let's go ahead and share right now the information that we have, right? Remember, this will depend on how you organize your life, right? So let's see here. I'm going to put here on my computer what is going to be the number one, right? We have first, second, third, and fourth. What do you think is going to be number one? Carmen and Alexis. What do you think is going to be number one? Well, Alexis and I, we have different because for Alexis, the first thing is she will, uh, she needs to con contact the first three potential customer in the list from Mr. Sanchez. Uh -huh. It is for Alexis. But for me, the, the first thing is send the two last, send the two last sales report on May 26th. Okay. Because it's, the letter said, it's very important to send the two late. Okay, it's very important, very good to send this latest sales report okay very good so that's what you have very good and what do you have uh celia is it the same or is different celia has me is the same okay very good yes. it's the same it's very important what about you sandrita is it the same Is it the same, Sandrita? Oh, a Sandra no le sirve el micrófono. Let's see. Luis, what do you have in number two? Number two, eh, eh, es la de last report on my 26 and they write new work of letter to customer. Pero ahí hay dos actividades. La. Ah. El catálogo. Ahí dice end. End significa que estamos uniendo otra oración. Es una conjunction. ¿Cuál tiene en la segunda, Ana Gabriela? Um, I really need you to contact the first three potential customer. Okay, very good. What do you have in number three, Pedrina? Number three. It's very important to send the to last them excellent report. On Monix, eh, el número no. 26. May 26. 26. All right, a net welcome letter for the net customer. You have on day to do and for all. Okay. Hasta ahí. Esa tengo en la tres. Okay, good. Good. Now, let's take a look at this. 
Muy aparte de cuál sería primero, cuál sería después. I need you to identify sentences, okay, and activities. This person, Daniel, has used imperatives to tell Guadalupe what to do, right? So the first imperative is contact. Sorry. The first imperative is contact the first three potential customers in the list from Mr. Sancho. That is the first imperative, the first command. What is the second command, Carmen? The second is call the new client from the last three weeks and give them the cat catalog information for John. Okay, very good. So we have the second one. Call the new clients from the last three weeks and give them the catalog for you. Catalog. Repeat. Catalog. Catalog. Yes, very good. Catalog. Como lo queda la Okay. Catalog. Tell me the next, the next command here. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Angie. Um. Finalis visit the no no um the next imperative sentence what is the imperative send send okay Alexis send what send ah send what to send they two letters Salir report. Send the two latest report on May 26. Very um, good. Nice. And then? And after that, Alexis? Uh, last salary report on May. Okay, yes, that's correct. What's next? What is next? La siguiente. Yes. Es, 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 es. La que. Right. La que yo tengo, la que yo tengo es. Ah, esa, esa sí, esa no la puse. Yo me salté esa y me vine hasta. She visited two day to a store. Esta, 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 the stores. Esta sí la omití, no me fijé. Don't worry, but yes, you have this one correct. Visit yes. the two stores, okay? Yes. And what is the last, the last command that she, that he gives to her? ¿Cuál es el último, Concepción? Hasta ahora, yo había colocado, dice, como último visit to the store. Hasta ahora, un puño con la mano okay. izquierda. Very good, María. Very good. Hasta ahí, hasta ahí tenía. Otro, otro imperativo, aunque no es algo que le diga el que haga, tenemos organize. Organize your week. week. Organize your week, ok. Organize your week. Organícese, right? Organ. Ese es otro imperativo, right? Look at how many imperatives we have, right? In this. Esas son actividades que él está solicitando a ella que haga, right? We have activities that they have to do. Please mark them with a color, with another pen, with a lapis, a marker, anything. Use anything, a marker, a pen, a color. Marquen las oraciones, por favor, para que identifiquen otros ejemplos de imperativos para el vocabulario. Okay? Now, let's continue. Vamos a continuar con otra, otra actividad. Are we ready? ¿Me avisan cuando las hayan marcado?
Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you, Alexis. ¿Y los demás se terminaron? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Yes. Now, let me put this away. We're going to continue here, okay? Now, I am going to explain to you another topic that is very important for us to, to know, okay? This video conference is going to be about have to as well. Now we have learned about need to. Now we're going to practice have to, okay? Have to or don't have to, okay? I want you to look at this. This have to or don't have to, right? This is for something you need to do following a rule, right? For example, Nowadays, nowadays, you have to wear a mask to go outside, right? If you want to go to the supermarket, you have to wear a mask. You have to use what? Alcohol to put in your hands, uh, antibacterial, right, on your hand. You have to wash your hands. Those are rules that exist nowadays. Esas son como reglas que existen hoy día, right? You have to do it. So when we use have to or don't have to, we are talking about rules, okay? For example, in this class, in this class, you have to keep your camera open, right? You have to open your camera in this class. We can say you have to, you have to put your complete name. Son, son reglas que debemos seguir, right? The, those, that's what we have, we have to, when we just don't have to, it's for example, oh, when you go to the bank in the past, in el pasado, cuando iba al banco, it's a, you have to turn off your cell phone. Right? You have to turn off your cell phone. Today, it's like, you don't have to turn off your cell phone. Al banco ya no le dicen nada. Yo pago el teléfono, right? You don't have to turn off your cell phone. It's not a rule anymore. But in the past, it was a rule. Right? What is another rule that you have? El niño Concepción siempre me asusta. Okay. Él es... What's another rule? Si ¿Sí saben que es una rule. Una rule es algo, es una regla. It's something that is mandatory, an obligation, right? What's another obligation? In your job, what is an obligation? I have to, I have to use the computer in the virtual session. I have to use the computer in the virtual session. Very good. That is one rule. In my work, in my work, one rule is that I have to finish my class at 10, 11. Okay. Another rule is that I have to send my classes on Mondays. That's another rule for me. What is another rule for you, Emerson? Sorry, teacher. What is another rule in your job? Uh, for, for example, in my work, I have to use the company's computer. Because oh, okay. I can use another computer. Because of or, the program. Or personal computer, yes. Okay, very good. Excellent. I have to use the company's computer. Very good. That's an excellent example. I don't have to use a, a work computer. I can use my personal computer. I don't have to use a personal computer. What, could, what is a rule? Pensemos en reglas, chicos. Pensemos en reglas que debemos cumplir 
Okay, por ejemplo, les decía al inicio, today we have the coronavirus, right? Okay, since we have the coronavirus, every day if you go out to the supermarket, you go out to the bank, you have to wear a mask, right? You have to wear a mask. You have to uh, keep distance from other people, right? Those are rules. What's another rule in your job? Luis Armando, Emerson, Ana Gabriela, Celia, Ricardo. What's another rule? You have to shower. You have to take a shower. <laughs> yes, you know. Shower. You have to take a shower to go to work. Exactly. <laughs> Very good. You have to take a shower. Sí, porque si no. Okay, good. You have Ufa. to take a shower. <laughs> Another rule? I have to go early in the morning. I have to go early in the morning. Excellent job, Emerson. Excellent job. I have to go early in the morning to my work. What's another one, Celia? In my work, uh, I have to take temperature in, in la entrada, no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Okay, I have to take, I have to take my temperature in the entrance. In the, in the entrance. 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 Yes, yes. In the entrance. Okay, very good. Now, let me see here another example. Angie, Ana Gabriela, another example. I have to use, uh, um, the, use, el uso de mascarilla, como podría decirlo. Ya lo acabo de, lo dije hace un minuto. I have to wear a mask. I have to wear a mask. I mm -hmm. um I have to I wash um, uh -huh. I have to wear a mask. Esa es para el uso de mascarilla. ¿Cuál otro tiene? Uh, no, el, el, el lavado de manos. I have to wash. Yeah, wash. I have to wash my hands. Very good. Uh, I have to wash my hands. My hands. I have to wash my hands. Tell me another one. Vamos, chicos. Yo sé que pueden. Por favor, no se están durmiendo. I have to, I have to finish all my daily tasks. Excellent job. I have to finish all my daily tasks. Very good. Ana Gabriela? I have the desk TV. I have to. I have the desk TV. Pero tiene que utilizar have to, Ana Gabriela. Have to. What do you have, uh, Sandra Gladys? Escribe su ejemplo, Ana Gabriela. Quiero leerlo, por favor. Oh, Sandra Gladys dice, I have to take lunch at 12 p.m. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Pedrina, what's your example? Eh, es que ya lo dijeron. Dígalo de nuevo, no importa. Practique pronunciación. <laughs> but I have I have to wash my hair okay I have to wash to wash my hands to wash my hair y el otro I have to to wear um, a mask I have to wear a mask okay very good 
Ahí, pues si tiene que decir hands. 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 Porque si dice hairs, es esto. Uh -huh. Hairs. Ah, ok. I have to wash my hair. Así okay. también, ¿verdad? Si no apesta. I have to wash it. Ok. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ricardo, Daniela Milcar, Luis Armando, what are your examples? Necesito que lo intenten y que se equivoquen por lo menos para que entre todos aprendamos. Emerson, I have, I have to, to pass the medical checkup. Excellent. That is, Ricardo, that is what we need to put. I have to pass the medical checkup. Okay, very good. Very good. Look at the example that my friend there has given us. Teacher, arriba está el mío, arriba el de Emerson. Arriba. I have to, oh, okay. I have to clean the desk or I have to tidy the desk. Right. Tidy is a verb, tidy. I okay. have to tidy. I have to buy a new computer. Very good. Amilcar, I'm so sorry. Lo siento, Amilcar. No vaya la cura sauce, Amilcar. I have to buy a new computer. I have to leave my office in order. Okay, good, Celia. I have to come in at 8 a.m. Very good. Okay, very good. Let me see. I have to come in. Let me see another example. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to write here. I have to tidy my desk. I see. I see. Tidy. I have to study. What's the other one? Oh, it's in my voice. Okay. Okay. I have to study English at 8 p.m. Yes, English capital letter. Good. Teacher. Yes, yes. ¿Por qué eh, me corrigió con clean el tidy? Eh, porque usted hizo tidy. Entonces, para Ajá, que pero puse... el tidy es como ordenado. Ajá. Pues, Ajá, porque... porque lo que pasa es que eh, por nosotros más hay, o sea, sí, obviamente sí la limpieza, ¿verdad? Pero más que todo cada, tenemos eh, implementado las 5S, entonces sí tiene que estar como todo ordenado, cada cosa en su lugar. Entonces por eso me refería yo al tidy, pero me confundí ahí con el, con, con el, con el clean. Clean, el o sea, verbo. Para mí el clean es como limpio, pues, o sea. Sí, pero clean no solamente significa limpiar. Por ejemplo, cuando usted le dice en inglés, eh, una, va a escuchar una mamá gringa que le dice a su, a su hijo, clean your room, no solamente le está diciendo que barra, le está diciendo que organice todo su cuerpo. Entonces el verbo clean, a pesar de que la traducción literal sería limpiar, no solamente significa limpiar, sino que significa limpiar, organizar, ordenar y todo lo que tenga que ver con dejar pulcro. Pero entonces sí es válido el tidy también. Sí, también es válido. Ah, okay. uh -huh. Como usted no utilizó clean, yo puse tidy. Ahí no, está yo lo... dice tidy. Uh -huh. Exacto, exacto. Mira ahí el ejemplo que le acabo de poner. I have to clean my desk and leave it tidy. Ok. Puede dejarlo así también. I have to have the camera turned on. Very good. Pero quítele el, el, la E de al turn. Porque okay. es el pasado. Uh -huh. Okay. I have to have the camera on. I have to walk the whole block. I'm so sorry, Asalia, but yes. I have to go to a bank. To. Fíjense que la preposición to es una preposición que nos ayuda también a hablar de movimiento. Okay? Listen to me. I have to go to the supermarket. I have to go to the bank. So I move from one place to another. Where do you have to go? I have to go to somewhere. Okay. Entonces siempre vamos a utilizar la preposición to cuando nos estamos hablando que nos vamos a mover de un lugar a otro. I have to wake up at 3 a.m. Good evening, Asali. I have to wake up at 3 a.m. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, sure. very good. Yes? In this case, I have a question. Yes. When, when you are moving, you use, for example, from the hospital to your house, for example, from A to B, okay. But when you use the article the, the hospital to the bank. Oh, you're going to use the 
when you have when it's something more specific when you already know which bank or which hospital right for example i can say in the morning i don't have money today i don't have money i have to go to a bank right? i have to go to a bank and later i will say my husband will ask me sylvia are you going to a bank yes which bank i am going to the bank in the, in the oh, okay. next to the supermarket okay okay when it's more specific okay when you say lo conoce ya puedo utilizar that very good now let's continue here with the use of have to okay now we go here and it says here we use have to right to talk about rules and things that other people make us do okay other people make us do this. Okay. Otras personas nos hacen que hagamos esto. Entonces aplica para nosotros en el trabajo. Right? We use have to to talk about rules and things that other people make us do. Look at the examples. Uh, please read the first example. Emerson? Eh, leer eso que está sombreado. Yes. You have to try these cakes. They are so good. They are so good. Very good. You have to try these cakes. They are so good. Very good. Gabriela, read the second example. Sheila sure. has to press very hard on the doorbell. And the doorbell, very good. When you go to a house and you clink, 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 right? You have to press very hard. Next, Ricardo. Okay, I have to cook dinner every night. Very good, I have to cook dinner every night. And the last one, please, eh, Concepcion. You have to you have to do a lot of homework every week. You have to do a lot of homework every week. Very good. Now, in each of these activities, in each of these sentences, you see that other people make you do this, right? Otras personas lo están haciendo usted o a otra persona que realice esa actividad, right? You have to try these cases. They are so good. You have to try these, these chips. They are so good. Right? Yo les estoy diciendo, probalas. Right? Son buenas. You have to try them. Right? Sheila has to press very hard on the doorbell. ¿Por qué? Porque no funciona. Alguien más no lo puso bien. Right? No funciona el... Uh, how do you call the doorbell? In Spanish. Cuando presionan, cuando van a una casa y presionan y dicen, clink, clink. Ahí por Timbre. Timbre. Thank you. Thank you. Tienen que presionar el timbre. I have to cook dinner every night. Nadie más le va a cocinar. You have to do it. Right? You have to do a lot of homework every week. ¿Por qué? Porque el teacher le deja la tarea. Right? You have to do a lot of homework. You are studying. Do we understand have to right now? ¿Entendemos have to? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, let's continue. Well, the negative form, right? We are going to use do not, does not. Después vamos a utilizar did, right? En el pasado, pero por el momento no. Solo tenemos ejemplos con el presente. We don't have to pay for the food. The students don't have to do homework on Fridays. Third grade doesn't have to take classes on December 19th. We don't have to do exercises of math class. Right? I don't have to write a report on Fridays. Ya quisiera. We don't have to take classes on Saturdays, for example. Right? We don't have to take classes on Saturdays. Now, this is for don't have to or doesn't have to. Right? Let's see. Let's try to do an example right now. We have this practice. Make sentences with the negative and then try to make them questions. 
you can use here, well, it says negatives, but let's do negatives and affirmatives. Affirmative sentences. Make affirmatives and make negatives. I don't have to leave now. And another one is, I have to write some examples. And I get you, I have to write some examples. Do I have to write some examples? Do I have to write some examples? That is going to be a question. Okay. Now, you can write here questions with I have to, she has to, he has to, right? We have to, right here. We have one, two, three, four. Four examples, negative or affirmative, and four questions, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. ¿Se entiende que vamos a hacer trabajar en estos momentos? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Y yes, en la teacher. negativa, eh, en, la que, en el ejemplo que dejó, no le falta el don. This one, the question. Sí. No. Yes. No, Así the va. question always do it, always do it in positive. Yes. Teacher, y en la donde dice, I don't how to live, no, eh, no, no, es, no es necesario agregar el don. In this one? In the question? No. Eh, negativo. I don't have to leave now. Este es el negativo. I don't. No, porque le digo que hagamos affirmatives or... and negatives. Aquí les puse, make affirmative sentences and make negative sentences. Para que tengamos de las dos. I have to write some examples. I don't have to leave now. Un negativo y un positivo. Las preguntas siempre pónganlas acá en positivo. O en dónde va a llevar el don. Don't, no lo entiendo, Concepción, perdón. No lo entiendo. Teacher, ya entendí, o sea, lo que no había entendido, o sea, pensé que la, donde usted escribe, ha escrito, I have to write some examples, pensé que primero iba a ser, I don't have to write some examples. Ah, ok. No, no, escribe positivas y negativas. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. What the pronouns you use? Huh? What the pronouns? Any pronouns? I, you, she, we, they. Okay. Pronouns. Repeat. Pronouns. Pronouns, you see, beautiful pronunciation.
Are we done? Tell me if you have a question, please. May I take this out? Did you finish your examples? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, for me. Okay. Can you write one negative and one affirmative comment on, on the chat? Okay. to prepare the financial report. Do I have to prepare the financial report? Okay, very good. Let's listen to more examples. Do I have to eat now? Okay, good. I don't have to go to the meeting today. Do I have to go to the meeting today? Very good. Excellent spelling, Carmen. Very good. Uh, Alexis, that's a question, okay? With the question, you have to put the question mark at the end. Tiene que poner el signo de interrogación al final si es una pregunta. Si sí, no, sí, sí, pero no me aparece aquí, ya me, también se me ha perdido. Claro que le aparece, si es un teclado está. Do I no have to eat now? Ok. Decía Salia, Emerson, Ricardo, Gabriel. Si le dices, I don't have to party tomorrow. <risa> ya que se le váyase a la fiesta. De todos modos, ya van todos los bichitos a la escuela. Ay, yes. <laughs> I have to organize the meeting. Do I have to organize the meeting? Very good, Emerson. I is always with capital error. Okay. I siempre se escribe con mayúscula. I, toda la vida. Siempre en inglés. ¿Por qué? Es una regla. I have to check my email. Very good. I don't have to send a report. Do I have to send a report? Very good. Do I have to sleep today? She don't have running in the morning. No, Ricardo. Remember to use have to. And it's she, it's third person singular. Ricardo Gabriel. I don't have to go to the office, Astalia. To the office. Do I have to check my email? Very good, Angie. Very good. I don't have to buy a computer. Do I have to buy a computer? A computer or computers. Okay, I don't have to buy computers. Do I have to buy computers? Very good. Sandrita? Amilcar? Luis, your examples. I have to call my sister. She is sick. Very good. Recuérdense que todos estos son obligaciones. Right? They are mandatory. I don't have to send a report. Do I have to send a report? Do I have to pay my cell phone? Sí, si no se lo quita claro. Do I have to pay my cell phone? Pay my. Okay. Look at this. Yes, Pedrina. Yo puse una ahí. No sé si está bien. Give me a moment. Do I have to pay my cell phone? Mire el, el, 
¿Cómo lo debe escribir Luis Armando? Cámbiala ahí, por favor. What is yours? I put here. Pero cámbiala. No solo me digo que cámbiala. Pedrina, I don't see yours. Pedrina, 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 Pedrina. ¿Dónde está la suya, Pedrina? Do I have Pedrina? No, no está la suya, Pedrina. Teacher. I have to call. Do I have to call tomorrow? Do I? Remember, Asalia, that we start the question with an auxiliary. Either do or does. Do I have to pay my cell phone? Ricardo, you didn't put your answer. I have to pay my house. Yes. Do you have to pay my cell phone? La corrección, Ricardo? You have to go to buy meals today. I have to wait up now. Do I have to wait up now? Very good. And uh, uh, Gabriela, do you write self report? You don't write. Sus ejemplos están perfectos, Josué, pero para el simple present. Do I have to pay my house? Sí, si no la echan. Okay. Do I have to pay my house? Yes, you have to pay. Okay. Do I have to write my report? Yes, it's yours. Okay, now, we are going. I'm going to call the attendance right now. Vamos a seguir mañana con más ejemplos. She has to write the report. Does she have to write the report? Excellent job. Excellent job, uh, Carmen. Tus ejemplos están perfectos para el simple present, Josué. Mañana hacemos más ejemplos, no se preocupen. Uf, ahí les tengo un montón. Let me call the attendance. Very quick. Ana Gabriela Córdoba de Samayoa. Present. Ángela de Jesús Santa María Juárez. Present, teacher. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present, teacher. Very good. Carmen Lista Hernández Escobar. Present. Cilia Jasmine Castro de Chávez. Present. Daniela Mirka Sandoval Avilés. Present. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. José Alfonso Palma Mejía. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present. Thank you. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Luis, As, Luis Armando Ventura Campos. Present, teacher. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Present. Pedrina Eliana Gómez Ortega. Present, teacher. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. I'm here. Roxana Yanira Mejibar Escobar. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Jennifer Avidaí López Escoto. Ok. And the last example says, in this moment, she doesn't have to, have to, have to. She doesn't have to, yeah, it is, she doesn't have run. Ah, ya ve. She doesn't have to run in the morning. Does she, has to, does she have to run in the morning? Very good. Okay, chicos, en este momento, entonces, we are going to finish the class right now. Today is... March the 10th, and we're going to stay just with one person. Who is going to stay today? I don't remember. We're going to stay with one person today. Todo lo demás, have a beautiful night. Hope you have a beautiful night. Solamente me quedo con una persona. Lo único que no me recuerdo es quién. Permítanme. Pedrina. With Pedrina. Pedrina, Pedrina. stay with me. Iliana. Hi, Pedrina, Iliana. Then the other Bye. one, have a beautiful night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye, Bye, Bye. Good night. have a beautiful night. Le pasen el half to, por favor. No, okay. okay, Pedrina. Hello. Hello, teacher. ¿Qué tal? Aquí, tratando de aprender un poco más. Éxitos. 
Pedrina, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo vamos con la pronunciación? ¿Qué bueno, está haciendo no. fuera de casa? Quiero, yo le voy a preguntar ahorita, ¿qué está haciendo fuera de casa para, para practicar? Afuera, eh, afuera de la clase, perdón. Sí, escucho, me pongo a escuchar diálogos cortos allí en, en, en ¿cómo es que se llama? En video. Y trato de entender, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Me, me ha ayudado un poquito, pero me cuesta bastante a, todavía. Pero para pronunciación, ¿qué está haciendo? Eso, escucho los videos y los, los, los trato de, de, de seguir al que está diciéndolos. Uh -huh. Hay varios videos. ¿Qué tipo de videos está bien? Disculpe que sea, que sea entrometida. <risa> ¿Qué tipo de videos ya, está bien? Son diálogos cortos, como presentaciones, uh -huh. eh, hablan de... Bueno, uno de los que he visto, primero la presentación, después eh, la identificación de objetos, las horas, esas cosas. Ok, perfecto. De contenido, eh, pues, muy bien, sí, muy bien. Sí, hay unos que tienen 900 palabras, pero, pero sí, como le digo, lo pongo, estoy trabajando y lo estoy escuchando, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, y también trato de verlo para ver cómo se escribe y no perder la secuencia. Ok, porque... Su, su teléfono es el 7221, ¿verdad? Sí, uh -huh. sí. Okay. Es. Perfecto, Liliana. Vamos a hacer algo. Give me a moment. I'm going to send you right now. Okay. Some uh, links right now to your number. Okay. What are you going to do with those links? You are going to practice your pronunciation, okay? I am sending you right now. This is going to be extra homework for you. Okay? Okay. Mm. Do you have your phone with you? Ah, uh, yeah, ya me llegaron algunos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now with this pronunciation practice, right? We're going to uh, practice here some very, very easy words, okay? Very easy words that we're going to, to do. First of all, right? First of all, what you're going to do, Pedrina, is to uh, listen. You're going to listen to the song, right? Mm -hmm. That I sent you. You're going to listen to the song and then you are going to read the song and you're going to sing the song. You're going to pronounce. Va a abrir el link que le envié. Va a trabajar con él. Okay. Va a escuchar primero. Primero solo va a escuchar. Sí, sí. Okay. okay. Usted escucha. Okay. Cuando usted ya ha escuchado, luego vamos a escuchar y leer. Okay. Ese va a ser el segundo paso. Okay. Cuando usted ya ha escuchado y ha leído mil veces, uh -huh. a la vez mil uno, usted va a escuchar, a leer y a repetir. ¿Ok? Ok. Solamente esas, esas dos que le he enviado. ¿okay? Okay. Esas dos va a practicar. Okay? ¿Ok? Esas dos va a practicar. Ahora, yo le voy a enviar otra práctica que usted me va a hacer a mí. Porque yo quiero que usted uf, mejore más de lo que ya mejoró. Okay, and we're going to practice with something else. Give me one moment. Que aquí se me ha perdido, fíjese. You're beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Déjame un momento. 
No, esto es muy... Todavía no, todavía no estamos listos para eso. Déjeme un segundito, Pedrina, déjeme un segundito. Ok. Ok, acá vamos. Vale. Este también. A trabajar usted con, con, con este. Ups, perdón, se me copió. Ya, ya me cayó. Permítame. Sí, ese ya le cayó. Permítame este. Este es el siguiente. Perdón, se lo envié de nuevo. Okay. Basic conversations. Okay. Basic conversations that we're going to practice at home so you can improve your pronunciation. Yo quiero que usted, cuando salga de este módulo, ya podamos ser un poquito más fluidos de lo que ya mejoramos. Ok, ya mejoramos bastante, pero necesito que usted mejore aún más. Ok, ahora. Okay. Eh, yo sé que ya me pasé, yo de, de, de quité su tiempo, pero dígame cuáles eran sus preguntas. Ah, no, pero esto está bien, porque yo, como le digo, yo me metí al Inter y escuchaba, escuchaba, pero eso es que le digo, que puño de palabras, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero algo se me ha ido quedando. <risa> qué bien, qué bien, me alegra. Sí. Vaya, teacher, entonces tengo una pequeña inquietud con, con la clase, más que todo con la, con la, con el uso del... El new to. New. Yo hice la hora. Ajá. Ajá. Sí, new. yo hice la hora. New. New. Uh -huh. Need. 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 New to. Ajá. Vaya. Entonces, ahí usted había puesto el new need to más ver más ver. Uh -huh. Pero en el, yo hice las oraciones y las tenía bien, pero me quedó la duda porque no en todas llevamos el ver. El verbo, el complemento, perdón, casi solo se deja hasta el verbo. Mm, hay unas, hay unas. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, si usted me dice, I need to send a letter. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I need to send a letter. Entonces tenemos, I más need to más uh -huh. send más uh -huh. a letter, que es el a complemento. Ahí uh -huh. sí lleva el complemento. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿En cuáles ejemplos vio que no llevaban? ¿Qué no lleva complemento? ¿Todos llevan complemento hoy? Pues yo tengo una que solo la vi que decía así, I need to speak. I need to, que... I need to speak. Ajá. Uh -huh. Tenían que poner el otro, English o qué, otro idioma, qué sé yo, ¿verdad? Sí, puedo sí, ponerlo. Vamos. Pero, por ejemplo, si, si, usted está, si usted está en la clase y dice, I need to speak. Necesito uh -huh. hablar y decir algo. Ajá, hasta allí puede quedar también. Sí. Ah, va, es que esa era la inquietud, porque yo la vi que en el check solo la habían puesto sin el, uh -huh. hasta ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. Porque en algunos sí, otros no. Va, ahí. Tenía esa también. Y tenía otra parte. Uh -huh. Ese. De la clase de ayer. Ah, oh, espérate. Sí, sí. Vaya, ese con... Con I don't, I don't, ¿verdad? I don't. Uh -huh. I don't. Ahí necesariamente, teacher, tendría que llevar complemento la, la, oración, la, la oración, ¿verdad? ¿En cuál? Dígame el en, ejemplo. Por lo menos si yo pongo I don't at lunch, tendría que poner un complemento, ¿dónde o, o qué? ¿O solo lo dejaría ahí? Usted lo puede dejar solo ahí o dependiendo de lo que usted quiere decir. Por ejemplo, mm -hmm. I don't have lunch. At 12. I have lunch at 1. Ah, ya más si completa. Quiere, si usted quiere dar más información. Ah, pero, pero ejemplo, puedo dejar corta. Va. Sí, ya. I don't have lunch. Sí, sí. Pero eh, es, es, más, eh, es más conveniente que usted eh, utilice más información, así usted le proporciona más contexto a la persona con la que está hablando. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Vaya, eso. Esa es otra. 
Tenía, y la otra pregunta que no la quise hacer en el grupo es con las actividades. Ahora, las que aparecen ahí en la, en la plataforma. Ajá. No, ha, no ha puesto la parte aquella donde uno pone las, ¿cómo es que se llama? Las discusiones. Esta, no, esta es, semana no, esta semana ah, no. Uh -huh. Sí, porque no he encontrado nada, solo, solo lo otro. ¿verdad? Mañana solo... le voy a poner la del viernes posiblemente y la otra semana. Ah, bueno, ¿No? bueno. Yo dije, quizás yo no las veo porque al principio me costaba encontrarlas, ¿verdad? Dije, quizás no las he visto y ni una he hecho, porque me puse a revisar. ¿Las de la semana pasada? Sí. Sí, esas sí las hice. Uh -huh. Sí, es así. Ajá. Vaya, quiero ver, quiero ver. Tengo bastante problema, teacher, en la pronunciación cuando va la contractada. Uh -huh. I don't know. Esa, cuando va junta. I don't. I, I don't, así ver, ah, I don't. Va a decir I don't. I don't. No, porque si está diciendo don't es otra cosa. Don't uh -huh. es otra cosa, pues está diciendo don't. No, se tiene que I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't eat. I don't eat. I don't eat pizza. Uh -huh. Pizza, ajá. Mm -hmm. O oh, I don't a doctor, digamos, va. I don't go to the doctor, ajá. Ajá, I don't, I, I don't a hamburguesa, por decirle algo, ¿verdad? I don't eat hamburger, ajá. I don't eat, I don't. ah, siempre el verbo, ¿verdad? I don't eat hamburgues. Exactly. Ok, okay. Mm -hmm. vale, aquí Siempre tiene que ir con el verbo porque ese es un auxiliar. Sí, siempre. Ajá, ok. Bueno. Another question, tell me. Bueno, ahorita el teacher, yo pienso que ahí, ahí, como le digo, lo que más me cuesta, más que todo eso, es la pronunciación. Porque las otras, pues, las hago en las oraciones y, y es raro que me equivoque. O sea... Uh -huh. sí, más, que todo, más que todo, sí, es, es donde le tengo que poner más énfasis es en la pronunciación. En la pronunciación, exacto. Y yo exacto. más creo que es pena, no sé, porque como algunas veces, bueno, ahí en los que he estado viendo que la forma de la boca, que como y este, que lo otro, entonces eso me cuesta bastante. Sí, pero no se preocupe, pues ahorita llevamos que siete semanas. Sí. Siete, seis, seis o siete. Así que no se preocupe, le va a dar pena, pero no importa, o sea, usted equivóquese. Si no se equivoca, yo no la puedo corregir, no sé si puede o no puede. Para mí, si no me dice nada, yo decía, ah, puedo. Sí. <risa> Entonces, equivóquese para que yo tenga el chance de eh, trabajar con usted, ¿ok? Sí, 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 está bien que me pregunte porque yo siento que ahorita... Ahorita como me pregunta más, siento que, que, que aprendo un poco más, ¿verdad? Me cuesta, pero todavía necesito meterle más. Todo Para el, sí, el ejemplo que yo había puesto, teacher, tengo dudas, porque yo había puesto, no sé por qué no se vio, porque creo que no me apareció el nombre allí, después lo revisé. No eh, se ve Sí, no, sí, pero ahí está. después lo vi, era, espérame, le voy a decir, porque si no quiero quedarme con la duda, creo que lo copié también. Yo había puesto a I have to check correspondence, no sé. En I have to parte. check correspondence. Uh -huh. Sí. Check correspond. I have check. to check correspondence. Está bueno. Okay. Ah, bueno. Y en negativo, ¿cómo sería? Eh, I don't. I don't. To, ha, to have. Check report. No. I don't have to check reports. Uh -huh. Reports. Report. Report. No. Reports. Report. Report. Okay. Pero la R no me la pronuncie tanto, Pedrina. La R no se pronuncia en inglés, como ah, una okay. R en español. Entonces, ah, okay. oiga bien, si yo digo reports, no. Yo digo no. reports. 
Reports. Reports. Reports. Reports. Reports. Report. Report. No report. Reports. Rip. Rip. Report. Report. Okay. Usted está diciendo report. No. Reports. Report. Exacto. Reports. Ah, es que la R es bien raro. Sí, la R no, es que la R no es una R, eh, no es una R latina, es una R de Estados Unidos. Entonces oh, no sí. se pronuncia. Entonces sería reports. Correspondence. Correspondence. La R más, más suavecita. Correspondence. 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 La lengua le tiene que así como hacer como una U, mira. Uh, correspondence. Correspondence. Uh, correspondence. Ajá. Ah, mire qué diferencia. Sí. Very good. Sí, uh -huh. sí, sí. Bueno. Ok, bueno, Pedrina. Creo, sí, el teacher. Creo que ahorita sí voy a practicar eso que me mandó. Ok. Eh, y yo espero que, que sí mejor esta semana debería ya de soltarme un poquito la lengua. Porque yo siento que es ahí, es ahí donde, donde sí siempre he tenido ese problema. Uh -huh. sí, sí, y no se preocupe. Aún hay palabras que uno encuentra día con día, ya con años de experiencia, que dice, ¿qué esto cómo se pronuncia? Sí. <risa> Así que no se preocupe, ¿ok? Sí, bueno. Siga practicando, Pedrina. Hoy okay. Pasa bueno, una linda sí. noche. Igualmente, feliz noche. Feliz, feliz noche. La veo mañana. La veo mañana, sí. Sí, tomorrow. <risa> Primero día, <Dios>, sí. <risa>